No, that was too early. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stick to the other one. This seems like this seems like it's for Street Fighter mains, right? Well, you can do 80 more damage with the other one. Yeah, um, I don't know if I don't know if I think you're just trying to sabotage me. I'm not gonna lie, but that's all right. I feel like it's just optimal. <laughs> it's not optimal if it's from a combo video, dude. We are back today doing some coaching for the Sage M Street Fighter Slam, but today is going to be a little bit different. You know, it's the day before the playoffs, and since we are the first seed in the bracket, I thought it'd be nice to just coach the opponents to make it a little bit more fair. So today we coached SK and Brawl Pro from Team Brian F to, you know, give him a better chance at winning. But in all honesty, I'm down to coach anyone from this event. I feel like that's kind of the whole point to just help people get into Street Fighter. And as long as I'm not helping them against my teammates, in particular, I feel like it's completely fine. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. Coaching SK and Brawl Pro a little bit. Before we get into it, just a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button down below. Really helps your channel out a lot. And let's get into it. Uh, did you have like any specific things that um, you were confused about or wanted to know about? Yes, I have one big question. Yeah. When I do this, oh, this, when I wake up, mm -hmm. I feel like I don't get any more offensive pressure now yeah. because I always have to worry about it. Yeah. So. I love running up on people when I when I knock them down, but when they spam that, I feel like I can't anymore, and then I lose a big advantage I have. Yeah, so there's different ways. Obviously, the first answer is blocking, because um, then you can just punish them. Um, right. But, but there's like different things you can do. Like you can um, do like a delay throw, or a delay button. A delay button is risky because they might throw you. Um, so you Whoa. can also just walk back a bit. Um, so especially with Jury's throw loop, delay throw is really good because other throw loops you can like walk back, but Jury's you can't. So if you do like a delay throw, it should um, block and then also tech the throw. So I'll, I'll mix it oh. up in between them. Yeah, because that was one of the things that was bothering me a lot. Because like if I run up and block to bait it, then I get thrown sometimes. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem with oh, Jury's so you throw you just loop. delay it and yeah. it breaks it. Yeah. Oh. So like... Yeah. Oh! And then you're still in the corner and I get to anti-air you if you try and jump. Oh, that's so crazy! Yeah, and then okay. mid-screen, mid if you do this or something, then you can just walk back instead of doing something and you can bait a throw too. Oh, oh really? Oh, okay. I should I should practice that, like, timing. Another thing is I, I never use my stocks except for fireball. Yeah, that's completely fine, honestly. The I would say the biggest advantage otherwise is when you do... Instead of doing the stock knockdown, if you do this one, you still get Oki off of the stock version. So if you, oh. and it's more damage. So if you want to go into super, you do this special move instead. Oh, oh, that's sick. I'm taking notes. Um, another thing, when I am drive rushing a lot, mm -hmm. I feel like they always stand block and then uh -huh. also punch if I get too close so I can't throw them. Do you ever go for like low? Yeah, so I, either you go for like an immediate this or overhead or this for the low. Because this one goes into this combo. Yeah. Oh, and, and then you can do medium store after too? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sick. Okay, I see. Now I have mix up. Oh, I'm so bad at keeping people in the corner. <laughs> they always jump out. Are you good with, or, like, anti-air DPs? No, I think I suck with those. Okay, um, I think an easier way to keep them in the corner, and it's honestly more consistent, because if they're at cross-up range, sometimes you have to, like, cross-cut them, and it's not ideal. If you have them, like, around here, you can jump back medium punch. You can do this, and then keep oh. them back. Oh! Brian does that a lot on Ed, I think. Yeah, it has a jump heavy kick that does the same thing. Oh, I see. Oh, when I watch you play, sometimes you go for like, you're like jumping in. And oh, then yeah. I just do that and then spin. Oh, this one you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, so this is like a good wake up option because it beats throw. So if you try to throw with me. Oh my god. Yeah, so it's like meterless and it beats throw, which is like a really good defensive option in this game. But it is unsafe though, because they can punch the dive kick. Yeah, but also, oh, okay. if you have meter, you can do like cooler things. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're... That like took us across the map too. <laughs> what the... Okay. Yep. Yeah, but... 
just putting that in your defense, like just the regular one, is really good because then people will be scared to throw you. Yeah, and if something easy you could do is you could just do it into level 3 or 1, I think. Oh, Odia and then level 3 or level 1. Yeah. But that's so mean. Because <laughs> yeah, then they'll be really scared of throwing you because they just die. I'm writing. I'm writing things. I see. Yeah, she got some tech. She does. Yeah, so especially if you have the three stocks already, you just want to go into the heavy fuha instead of the store. And that's you can do that instead of store in like every combo? Yeah. Yeah, you're basically choosing oh. at any point, like if you want the stock or if you want damage. Okay, I see. This guy is very aggressive. He's just beating my ass. <laughs> yeah, no, Bison's just broken. It's okay. Ah, yes. Oh, wow. Gray is very weak. Yeah, I think so. Unlucky, unlucky. Oh, I should use... I would have killed him if I... Yeah, if you drive us. Things are looking dire. Oh, you still have a level 3. If you hit him once with level 3, he's dead. Pretty much. True. Maybe things aren't so old. Oh. <laughs> so, how would you have fished for the level 3 there? Would, would you do it with like, um... Uh, I would just, like in neutral, I just try and hit heavy punch a lot and try and confirm that into dry rush uh, and then go into level 3. Um, or you could have just like buffered it and when he starts moving forward with, with a, like a special move, you can just press a button. Oh, I see. Yeah. Is it obvious if I buffer like this? It is, but not to people in plan up. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Oh, I'm old, I'm old, I'm old. I'm I'm young. I'm just dumb. I think I need to start um, using this heavy heavy punch a lot more. Yeah, especially at the start of the round, you just do that or crouch me, I'm kicking to dry rush. And then, oh. like, you don't want to do it too much and then you'll burn out. But, like, when you have this much drive gauge, like, three bars won't put you in any danger, so you're good. Oh, okay. Oops. 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 Nice. And then you can kill with the driver's combo. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just block Oh that. my god. What? No! <laughs> yeah, pretty much any super you can drive rush and punish. Oh! Oh! Yeah, so if, if you see a parry come out, like hold back and parry, and then um, drive rush after it finishes. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's two hits. What? Yeah. So no. on, on multi hit moves, you you just have to grab or jab after. Oh. Nice. Let's go! Could I have killed him with a dry rush combo and skipped the last two interactions? I think you could, yeah. Okay. I really need to practice those. You don't scare me! I could have killed him there. Could oh, wait, no. It, possibly if you got the level one. It was hard to tell, though. Right. Okay. That does seem like a huge thing. It's like every single round. <laughs> no, stop! What? I gambled it all. Oh, <gasps> he didn't punish. Nice. <laughs> no, when he's burned out, he can't punish. Oh. Unle unless you hit it really high up, but otherwise, it's it's not punishable. Ooh. Old, 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 old. Oh, that was good. Oh. Nice. I'm young! Nice. Let's go! I If I hit level 3 there, did it kill or did I need drive rush extra? Oh, I could have just drive rush extra to guarantee it. Yeah, but the thing is, you also don't want to... It's not really what you want to do there because you want to save your level 3 for the next round. Oh, okay. So I could have drive rush, emptied my bar, and then level 1'd him. Yeah, maybe. Shit. Oh, shit. Mama! Ah, 
Nice. It was in my head. I was like, okay, I'm gonna that's drive good, rush this good. time. As long as it's in your head. <laughs> yep. Oh. Nice. It's literally like every single round we've played so far where I could have done some combo to kill someone. Yeah, I mean, it happens a lot. Okay, okay. But, okay. Like, you drive rush into the crouching heavy punch first, and then you do that target combo. Oh, what? Pretty much. Like that, you, was super. But you can also do another crouch heavy punch. After the second drive rush, you do crouch heavy punch into what you did. Oh, oh, learning. So if you hit this, the, the low medium, or you hit this button on yeah, them, yeah. you would do the same thing. Yeah, there is a more optimal route with the two drive rushes, but it's going to be a bit more confusing because you're you're not looping it. You're doing something different. So after oh, okay, screw that, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> too, yeah. a little too much. Yeah, I, I think but it's after much. this after Sunday, I might because I want to hit mass. If we qualify, I want to try hitting master. That would be so cool. Yeah, you definitely can. Like, I feel like probably the damage you're doing is what's holding you back right now. And you have, like, enough understanding of the game to, to climb. Let's go! I, I hope this is the case. That would make things easy. <laughs> oh, I guess that's it. Yeah, you're I'm... just, like, you're fishing for a hit and then you kill them. Yeah. That's like GG. Yeah, like, off of DI and jump is the most obvious. But even in neutral, if you just want to hit a button and drive rush, that's also cool. And then you can just build back your drive gauge after. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, hopefully this I'm was going helpful. To here forever. It was so helpful. This will help so much. Maybe I can win something. <laughs> yeah. Ho hopefully we don't lose and you guys somehow lose. No, that record. would be so sad. So. Everything will be okay. Yeah. Also, I don't know how to fight Min Minon. Scar just grabs me every <laughs> single time, so it'll be okay. Yeah, maybe. Thank you so much for the help. Yeah, this is no I. Problem. This is gonna be yeah, awesome. Let me know if you want more help later. Bet you're the goat. Thank you. Hey, what's going on, man? Not much. So, what have you what have you noticed from watching my terrible gameplay? I feel like you're pretty solid. Oh that, shit! Don't that, let that, Chad that, hear you say the that. Level three you got on on Ross was nice. Yeah, that, that was that was my moment right there. <laughs> I don't know if I can top that. So I guess we can just play, and then if you notice st stuff, let me know. Yeah, I mean, tell me if there's any moves that you don't know about. Basically, working on my approach here. Brian said, dude, like, he said if you eat the peers, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so Okay, so I parry that and what? So I parry that and what? The first one is meaty, so you just block the second one, so and then after that you can move. <laughs> okay, I'm tired. Why are you laughing, bro? I've never been through this before. No, this is funny. Everyone goes through this with JP. Yeah, so so the way okay. his full screen zoning works is after a normal pierce, then you can like start moving again. But after like not the meaty one. Yeah, not the meaty one because he's he's like plus after that. But after the normal one, you can. So yeah. if so, it's a mix up to approach him. Because... Uh, yeah, kind of. Okay, yeah. let's say okay, let's say I do get through. Then I keep e look at I keep eating that thing he has where he does that reversal his DP his this version one? of yeah that thing just hold back or yeah you just bait it out like a normal DP or something. So th the best way to approach the neutral game they're probably going to do you think what just all all three ranged attacks in different succession or probably probably EX portal is like what um what's safest for them to do at the start of the round um uh -huh. ideally you just try and get a jump in and his jump got nerfed so it'll trade a lot of the times or lose to your jump mk can i bait it out <laughs> it's not uh, like it's a dp so <laughs> something you not. can do is like you jump from a little farther and then uh -huh. try and make it make them with it like if you jump from this range oh. then you land with like a command grab or something oh i see oh that's good stuff okay yeah, if they're really ready they'll do this anti-air but they have to be like super ready for that okay so but, uh, this matchup is pretty bad or what or it's fine. I think it's probably fine this season, honestly. Like once you get in, it's like pretty rough for for JP because like he doesn't have like an actual wake up. Like 
if you bait just this out that. and you just you just kill all their drive gauge and then you win. Yeah, do you know how the portals work? Like I can choose to teleport to it yeah. if I want to. I yeah. can I can leery it if you decide to do that though, right? That might be a bit weird if I cross you up. I think, um, like maybe if it's right on top of you, it might be weird. I think jump jump back light kick is the most consistent because it's a cross up. So, oh, yeah. oh, I didn't yeah. even know it hit back there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. You're on modern. Why are you on modern? Is that what's fucking you up? I don't think so. I think it should still be possible. I guess it's not practical if it's that hard. Yeah, it's what very hard. Oh, I see. Okay. Do you know like the optimal stun combo? What? What is it? What, what is going on? So you do like this? You do a stomp? <laughs> I don't know yeah, if this works, hard. dude. I don't think this is valid. No, I got it already. I don't know Fuck, that isn't works. that some nerdy shit, dude? It's something like this, though. This is the first part. It's the hard part. Is it that? I'm not sure. It's <laughs> something like that, though. Something like that? Is yeah. that that's better than the lariat and the hell stab? It, it does like it, it does like 50 more damage or something. Yeah, and stomp then, and then slightly delayed. And yeah. then hell stab, od lariat. Yeah, you, you have to dash right after the drop kick and then you have to dash. Hellstab. Dude, that's so weird. I almost had that. I actually almost had it. I don't think so. It's like <laughs> no. very slightly delayed. Very slightly like, delayed? Okay, okay. Alright, yeah. alright. That was close? What do you think? Was that it close? It was closer than the other one. Okay, one more time, one more time. No, 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 one more time, one more time, one more time. And I'll, I'll do this time, and then if not, then whatever, who gives a fuck? Wait, we didn't even stun? Okay. No, that was too early. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stick to the other one. This seems like this seems like it's for Street Fighter mains, right? But you can do 80 more damage with the other one. Yeah, um, I don't know if I don't know if I think you're just trying to sabotage me. I'm not gonna lie, but that's all right. I feel like it's just optimal. <laughs> it's not optimal if it's from a combo video, dude. So, so you're scared of this and the knee being randomly plus, but don't whiff it though. Whiffing it is bad. Okay. Yeah. What else are you scared of? Yeah, and then jump cancel SPD when when the Geef player can do it is also broken. But no, but who does that? Every every pro Geef player does it. I'm gonna call cap on that, dude. There's no way like you struggle that hard, but every pro Geef player is doing I, it. I think maybe I think maybe it's not possible on modern. Yeah, and it's key, broken because really... it it beats throw loops. It beats throw, yeah. That's crazy. And you and you and you can't just like shimmy it because you'll just get grabbed. So you have to backdash to bait it out. That was, that was it. You see how much damage it does for doing a throw? I think you should try it. Dude, we're sick. not even we're not even fucking playing each other. Why do you want me to try? <laughs> Why do you want the other team to win? We're not even playing. All right. But yeah, that's all the cool geek tech. All right. I just had a question other than like heavy punch and the knee. Like what else if you, that you think I should scare people with and the neutral basically. That's all. Uh, jump medium kick is honestly broken too. That jumping yeah, button goes so far down. So do I start? Do I do it a little earlier than usual? Is that what makes it really good? Or yeah, because it hits like lower than a normal jump in, so you can do it early. Okay, so do that a lot. People keep gassing up medium punch, uh, but I don't have the most success with it, honestly. Yeah, I mean, all of his buttons are good. They just go so far. The yeah, thing is, that they're they're prone to DI a little bit though. I guess so, but at high level people don't really DI. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, this matchup sucks for me. I might not I have think to play it's him. Supposed to, to be bad. Yeah, like if you see a neutral, I'm not doing something that you would rather like to see me do. Oh, I thought he was gonna grab. See. I think you could have punished that with the SVD, the red kill. Light, light one or the... Yeah, I think light at least. Okay. Um, so I'm in the corner and burnt out this horrible spot. So what could I just hold block and... Yeah, you're just screwed now, so probably not getting burnt out would have been better. Got it. Well, I'm about to get it back. That sucks. I think that's too slow. 
Yeah, 18 frame. But yeah, you just you go see for like vision? a like a drive rush there. Like not, a drive not rush. Really. Oh, I, no, I see the vision if it's like a fireball, but <laughs> Jamie doesn't have a fireball. Yeah. Yeah, you want to get a bit closer so we can't take all four drinks like that. The fuck is he doing, dude? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know. If... You got headphones on, right? Yeah. All right, cool. OD could have killed. That's on me. Yeah, we're drivers. Yeah, normally you want the light kick to connect. Okay, I have level three though. So, <laughs> fuck, dude. So, so they're very aware of that, huh? They're very aware. <laughs> yeah, everyone's scared of the level three. <laughs> So he's gonna DP or that? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. That is the Oki I'm talking about. They like to jump away after that too. Then I level one them. Isn't that sick? That's not cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean? That shit was fire. Are you saying other characters just have that much better stuff? I mean, that's just like a, the most normal thing. I think you're just a Geef hater, I'm not gonna lie, man. No, I actually I, I, like Geef. Do you wanna watch another one, or do you have to go? No, I don't have to go. Damn, that sucks. It sucked that that happened, but, that, but it didn't suck that I went for that, right? It was like a good try, right? Yeah, no, it was right out of range. That was a good try. Just making sure we're on the same page, that's all. Okay, fireball spam, just parry, walk him down. Yeah, and also like do like a slightly charged heavy punch and it'll armor through it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, see, that sucks too, right? That's so unfortunate, man. You just gotta like do it, but not too much. Okay. Yeah, it's not really good to do like the fully charged version, really. Just like slightly charge it most of the time. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, the mix up. I didn't think he'd take longer to land. Jeez, Akuma is a lot of bullshit, man. It's a lot of stuff to look out for. Yeah, he has a lot of stuff to bait out anti-airs with the demon flip, so you just gotta, like, read it and then wait for him to land or do, like, an air-to-air. -air. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow. Good luck. Yeah, you too. Cannon on a loss. Oh yeah, he was distracting me. Like, low key. He was, he was just distracting me. I'm about, to, I'm about to get this W before I hop off. All right, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the coaching. You know, shout out to Sejam for bringing so many cool gamers together to try out Street Fighter. I feel like it's been really fun. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the video. Leave a like, leave a subscribe so you don't miss out on the finals of the Sejam Street Fighter Slam. And I'll see you in the next one.